Hey there everybody, Milk Knight here, and welcome to a new tutorial video. We're going to be doing the uh, the Dolphin, as it's also known as, or just the Dolphin emulator. This is uh, version 5.0 that I have installed. Uh, I will link in the description below where you can get the emulator from, as well as all the versions that are available for download. Uh, you may need to play around with what version may suit your computer more so, or maybe you need a few different versions installed, uh, depending on the kinds of games that you want to run. But uh, my computer seems to work fine with version 5.0. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to quickly mention is that the emulator can also do Wii stuff. Uh, most people probably already know, but there's probably a small group out there that don't know. Uh, just ignore the X mark, that just means that I don't have any saved data installed for these yet because I've not played them. But uh, yeah, you can do Wii stuff uh, through here. I will also put a link in the description below of where you can get the games from. Uh, you'll be able to get them from a website known as The Vault or uh, Vim's Lair uh, as it's also known as. It's called The, the subsection on there is called The Vault. But uh, yeah, Vim's Lair is usually where I get the uh, the games from. I will put a link in the description for both the Wii and the GameCube directories uh, on that website. Uh, they're all 100% safe by the way, there's no nasty viruses or anything bad like that, this is all 100% legitimate. There's nothing um, sketchy about any of these, they all work fine, I've tested them. In fact, I will quickly show you. Uh, let me get Smash Up since that's the most synonymous game with the Wii Cube. And here you go. It's running fine for me, just perfectly okay. I'll quickly load up a match just so you can see. Uh, any stage will do. Where's the final destination? There we go. Pick this one. And there you go. You can fight it out and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to end the emulation here. As you can see, it works fine. So the next thing is when you've downloaded the game that you wanted or whatever, it'll come like this. It'll be in a uh, 7-zip folder. Make sure you have 7-zip installed. I will also put a link in the description for 7-zip, although I have mentioned 7-zip before in uh, other emulation tutorial videos. But regardless, I'll put it in the uh, description. Uh, for example, this time around, I'm going to play some Simpsons, some Simpsons Road Rage. I'm going to right click and we're going to click 7-zip and then you just click extract files. Just press OK. And then just wait for this to do its thing and when it's fully done the game will be extracted. I will also show you some of the settings that I'm using uh, for this uh, version of the emulator just in case anyone wants to copy my settings or know where some things are I guess uh, like I usually do in these uh, tutorial videos. And as you can see, it's come as an end kit file. Another thing I quickly want to mention is when you get the uh, Wii games, they will come as WBF, uh, WBFS files. Um, they'll come in a 7 folder or 7 zip folder as always. You just simply have to uh, right click and extract like I did with the GameCube ones and then just put put the game in the uh, folder that you want. So that's always uh, nicely done. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to click on Road Rage or Simpsons I should say. Let me just quickly uh, close my window. The dog next door is really letting off some steam by barking and it's kind of... the, the microphone's probably picking it up. So yeah, as you can see, the game's loaded fine here. I have not played Road Rage in quite a while. Uh, we're just going to do a quick Sunday drive just to show the game functioning. Players march. Man, 3D Simpsons models look so weird. 
<laughs> it's weird getting used to them or seeing them uh, in that sense. Reminds me of that treehouse horror episode where Homer goes into the uh, three dimensional world. Sort of reminds me of that. That is the sorriest excuse for a vehicle I've ever seen. I've seen trees slot through after the. I love how we're getting dissed by burns. The traffic is nice. So yeah, it's running fine as you can see. Man, I've not played this game in forever. Where can I take you? Well, well, and here I thought I'd never find a ride. You got it. I've played this on the uh, GBA, and the GBA is kind of impressive. You do know how to drive, right? Although I do prefer the GameCube version more, so it looks nicer. Proof of your recklessness, but we sure got here fast. Did I just knock Mo over? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> anyway, that's literally uh, that's literally fine how that works. I mean, you just extract your your game and then you open it through here. Another thing that I do for convenience is I go to the configuration, and it'll have the paths tab here. You can just simply add the folder with all the games in, including the subfolders. Because as you can see, I actually have the uh, GameCube and Wii games bundled in one folder here, but I have Wii separately. But I put the subfolder directory on there, so it picks them all up, essentially, when I'm scrolling through the list. It, it beats just clicking open and then picking what game you want at a time where you can just click from the list. Other than that, uh, you've got other stuff here. Whoa, I've just messed with my speed limit. I need to put that at 100. There we go. You can also show your current game on Discord if you're logged into Discord, which is kind of cool. Next is your graphics and all this stuff. This is all what I have um, enabled for my settings. And these settings I find work best for me uh, when I'm using uh, most uh, GameCube stuff, as well as the Wii. And of course, uh, naturally, I'll quickly show you. It's self-explanatory. Just click controller and then configure. And then you can set your settings to however you want them. I have two profiles. I have like an Xbox controller just for usual use, depending on what game it is. Just any old game, really, I use that one for. And then I have one for Melee, where I've swapped out one of the jump buttons with grab. Um, because I realized that when I was mapping an Xbox One controller, that there's not enough buttons to cover the Z uh, button, uh, which is used for your grab. I mean, you can always use L and A, but I always prefer lazy grabbing as opposed to uh, putting in two, two buttons at once. You've also got your Wii and stuff like that. I play a lot of games that are on Wii that uh, use just traditional controls. Uh, mainly because I don't really bother with um, uh, motion control all that much. I mean, some people really do. Uh, if you want to look for uh, videos on how to do the motion control setup, you'll have to just look them up. I don't particularly use them. Like I said, I'm very old school. I prefer just to use a controller and stuff like that. Uh, another thing you can do in the config as well is change the uh, interface color as well as as well as clicking your system language and all that stuff. Uh, another thing that I'm going to mention when you install Dolphin, you'll have the little yellow text that pops up when you save a game. If you find that to be very irritating, just click on click on that and get rid of the the tick on show on screen display messages, and you should be fine. Uh, another thing that you can also do. I can find it. It might be in the graphics settings, bear with me a moment. If you click on general, yes. If you don't want two windows popping up, I usually have two. I have the list and the, the game playing. But if you just want the game playing on the actual uh, system itself, just click render to main window. I'll close this off real fast. And what this does 
it literally loads the game up in the actual window that you're uh, playing in. So I'm going to load up SSX free. You can also make this stuff full screen too. Although for the time being I'm keeping the uh, the screen like this because naturally I like uh, EA4. Actually, I just like having the interface whilst I'm playing around with stuff. I've got a couple of graphical glitches with some of the loading menu. Man, I've not played this game in a while too. This is another classic on the uh, on the queue. Single event. We'll pick a leg room. Turn off the music. By the way, I don't want to. Uh, this video being claimed by multiple artists. Quickly do a race. As you can see, it's rendered to the main window now. So, no more like two window thing. Although I prefer that, but different strokes are different folks, as they say, you know. This is another one of those games that's massively addictive. Like, I could just load it up and just play it all day. <laughs> Yep, just one of those games I can play all day. <laughs> Takes me back. I did try to get Tricky to run on my uh, emulator as well, but it didn't run very well for me. Tricky's one of those weird games. I don't know why, but the frame rate was a bit iffy. I might give it another go and see if I can get it running more stable. See if that works with the uh, stability, because I've tweaked the settings um, since last using um, since using Dolphin, which is why it's running a bit smoother in comparison to the last time I used it. And of course, if you just want to stop, you can just stop the emulator through here. Right, so I'm going to put my render to main window off because I prefer two windows to play with personally. Right, and that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what uh, emul the emulator Dolphin's capable of. I'll quickly load up um, uh, a Wii game real fast as well. Pick Mario Kart. <laughs> the second window's not gone to the. There we go. It's not uh, maximized properly. No, it's working fine. And yeah, Wii stuff runs perfectly fine. Cards only. Oh, yeah. quick. Just click Mario. You know, the usual. Oh man, that frame dropped right there though. <laughs> yeah, graphically it doesn't look impressive on my end because I've downgraded a bunch of stuff, but it still runs okay. I mean, it fluctuates between 50 and 60 frames with a little bit of audio stretching, which I could probably fix. Uh, if I mess with the audio settings more so. And just like that, it's perfectly fine now. Messing with the audio settings sometimes does fix uh, some of the frame rate as well, to an extent. Not by much though. 
only slightly. You can also prevent audio stretching and stuff, which can be painful in some games. I'm just going to close that down now. And there you go, just like that. That's pretty much Dolphin in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions about it or anything, just post stuff in the comments like most people do. I've had a, quite a couple of comments show up here and there in previous uh, emulation tutorials, which I'm actually really thankful for. Like uh, For every little interaction I ever have online with any of you guys, is always appreciated. And uh, yeah, have fun with uh, Dolphin and uh, check the link. Uh, links in the description below for all the stuff that you'll need uh, to run it and stuff. Right, that's pretty much going to be it for this uh, tutorial video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.